Hi, I'm Chad with Volkortz and Firearms, and today we're going to talk about the Volkortz and Accurizing Kit for the Ruger Mark IV. Of course, this kit is for the Mark IV and the Mark IV 2245, and it's going to improve your trigger pull to a two to two and a half pound trigger pull. So up front, this can be an involved install, and so if you do not feel comfortable, you can call us at Volkortzen and we will take care of it for you. For those of you who do feel comfortable, let's get started. First, we're gonna make sure that the firearm is on safe, and we're going to make sure that it is clear. Then we're gonna use Ruger's takedown button and remove the receiver and set that off to the side. Then we're gonna insert an empty magazine and disengage the safety. Holding the hammer slightly down, we're going to pull the trigger and slowly release the pressure on the hammer. Then we're gonna remove the inserted magazine and set that off to the side. Now with the upper receiver removed, we can remove the grip panels. And also remove the bolt stop thumb piece. Now we will switch Allen wrenches and remove the right side safety thumb piece. Now with the right side of the safety removed, we're gonna turn the frame over. And this next part's gonna look complicated, but it's really not. We're just gonna lift the left side safety. Careful not to lose the spring and plunger that are inside there. And we're gonna remove the safety the hammer and lift the disconnector and drop out the trigger plunger and the trigger spring. Then we're going to press out the sear pin Then tip the frame up again and remove the sear spring and the sear itself. The final step in disassembly is to remove the trigger. And in order to do that, we need to depress the retaining spring in front of the trigger using a small Allen wrench. The next step is to, while depressing the spring, push the pin out from the trigger. Then we can remove the trigger and disconnector. The bolt stop. And the bolt stop spring. And that completes the disassembly. Now with disassembly complete, we're gonna set aside the parts that we will be replacing. The disconnector, the trigger, the hammer, the sear, the sear spring, the trigger plunger, and the trigger plunger spring. With the frame disassembled, I'll set aside the parts that I will not be needing. And the next step is I like to adjust the pre-travel and over-travel screws on the trigger. I will remove the pre-travel screw, apply a small amount of blue Loctite, reinstall the over-travel screw, until it is just flush with the front of the trigger. Then I will remove the over travel screw. And since I'm installing a 2245 model, 
I will use the shorter of the two screws provided. The standard model will use the longer screw. I will apply a small amount of blue Loctite and reinstall the screw until it is flush on the front surface of the trigger. Then we can begin the install. The first step in the install is to reinstall the bolt stop and the bolt stop spring. We'll first put the spring in the front left corner and it should slide into place. Then we will install the bolt stop on top of the spring. Then we will take our trigger and our disconnector, put those two together and bring them in from the top. Put those in place. We can reinsert the trigger pin and you may have to press down that retaining spring to get that pin started. And then once it gets to the bolt stop, you press down on the bolt stop to get that pin fully seated. With the trigger installed, the next step is to install the sear. I will start with, from the left side of the frame, I will insert the pin using a needle nose pliers. I will install the sear spring. I will then install the sear spacer. Finally, the sear. Like that. With the sear installed, we're now gonna install the safety assembly. You're going to need the safety and the left side safety lever. You can go ahead and remove the safety spring and plunger from the left side lever so that we don't lose it. Next, we're gonna hold the sear forward in the frame and place the safety inside up against the left side of the frame. We're then gonna take the lever and press the pin in to the safety. It'll hold the safety in place and you want that pin just flush so that later we can install the hammer without it getting in the way. With the safety installed, we're now gonna install the trigger plunger and the trigger plunger spring. Place the plunger inside the spring, and with the plunger on top, place them into the trigger. Next, we're gonna install the hammer assembly. You'll need the hammer, the hammer bushing, and the hammer bushing spacer. There's two spacers included in the kit, one for the 2245 and one for the standard Mark IV. Place the hammer over the bushing and then the spacer on the other side of the bushing, like so. Next, we're gonna take the black side of the bushing, place it in the disconnector, and then lower it down with the hammer vertical, like this, and the hammer strut downward Guide it into the mainspring inside. Then lining it up, we're gonna press on the safety until it goes, gets started into the bushing. Once it's halfway in like this, holding the hammer in, we're gonna take the safety plunger and spring and install them back into the safety. Then we're gonna want to guide it completely through, and you may have to move the hammer a bit to line everything up. With everything lined up and the pin started onto the other side of the frame, we then need to move 
the safety inside with the safety on the outside, applying a little bit of pressure until everything lines up. Once it all lines up, it should push all the way through. Now you can press the hammer down, verify that it works. Then the safety should also work. With the safety lever all the way installed, we can then install the right side safety lever with the screw. Then we can install the bolt stop lever and the panels. With the grip panels installed, we can now reassemble the entire pistol by placing the receiver on the top of the frame. And with the safety on, pivot it down until it latches. We can now do a function check by testing the trigger. With the safety on, it will not fire. And with the safety off, we'll have a nice trigger pull. Now is also a good time to check your pre-travels and over-travel for personal preference. You can use the small Allen wrench to adjust your pre-travel and your over-travel. This completes our accurizing kit install. And as I mentioned earlier, if you'd prefer, you can call Volkwurzen and we'll arrange to install the parts for you. Thanks for watching.